it was really crazy. I mean, the fun part was the idea. You know, it was like, hey, we can make a movie that, you know, we film a little bit every year and everybody, you know, it's kind of this broad canvas, how to, you know, new way to tell a story. And The film's premiere at Sundance, I remember you cited a specific number of, of days when it had been <laughs> since you started shooting the film. Do, do you know? Yeah, how that was my there? intro. It was, it was, at that point, it was, um, yeah, we started this film, you know, 4,207 days ago, and here we are. But so we think that's the longest production in, you, in history. Um, someone's checking into it with, with Guinness. Right. Book or, yeah, yeah, isn't that funny? But, but number of shoots, <laughs> number, number of days shooting is a different story, right? Yeah, it was only like 39 official days of shooting over that 12-year period. Usually about three days a year with a few extra days here and there for different things and pickups and stuff. But. Well, it's, a, it's an interesting production history. You know, I, when I heard that yeah. IFC Films was releasing the movie, I, I, I thought maybe I missed an acquisition announcement, and then I realized that it came out in 2002. So, you know... You go to somebody with this idea, it's clearly unprecedented in film yeah. history. You know, you'd done pretty well for yourself by then, but it, it's still not the sort of thing that a lot of people would greenlight. So how did that go? Oh, no, it was really crazy. I mean, the fun part was the idea. You know, it was like, hey, we can make a movie that, you know, we film a little bit every year and everybody, you know, it's kind of this broad canvas, how to, you know, new way to tell a story. And people like Ethan and Patricia, you know, they got it. I pitched them and they agreed to be the parents, but it was... It had that kind of uh, momentum, but then talking about, okay, how to finance such a, such a thing. And I talked to a few producers that I had already worked with, and they were just like, what are you talking about? Like, that's, what, not, I don't know. You know, they just, glazy eyes. You know, I, they like, we're not a bank. What the, the interest? You know, they just couldn't figure it out financially. So um, it just seems risky, too, you know. But uh, Jonathan Searing, IFC. Um, at that he's point, hiding in the he's, audience he's here somewhere, Jonathan. But he deserves like mad, mad credit because, uh, yeah, he took the leap. He said, well, it sounds good. And I think IFC, um, you know, they have, they're bigger than just, you know, they're a big company. They have a lot of films. They have a library. I mean, they, have, they think long term. So, you know, a lot of film people really don't. They think that film and corporate America isn't really geared to think long term. So Jonathan said every year he had to kind of jump through hoops and, you know, what the hell is this 200000 a year we're spending and we're not going to get it back for another decade or whatever. But he had to explain it and just saying, well, I think it'll be worth more at the end than it's worth spending on it now. It's like, okay, well. So you have this. Crazy <laughs>